Hello and welcome to Skills to Pay the Bills in today's segment at JustAskFreeman.com. Sitting next to me is my lovely wife and co-host, Carolyn Owen. Our special guest today is nationally known elder law attorney and is the founder and shareholder of the estate planning and elder law firm, PC. He has represented over 6,000 clients throughout the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area. In addition to practicing estate and incapacity planning, his law firm also practices chronic care advocacy, which incorporates on staff social workers into the life planning process. Now, prior to founding the law firm, our guest worked as a trust officer with First American and First Union Banks, during which time he was responsible for over 100 personal trusts with market value assets exceeding $40 million. He's also a graduate of the University of Virginia and the University of Baltimore School of Law. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome William Bill Fralin, Esquire, to our segment of JustAskFreeman.com. Welcome, Bill. Thank you, Freeman. Uh, Thanks for having me. It's alrighty. great to be here. Bill, it is such a pleasure to have you here today. And I want to know, can you give me a little, little bit more information about the background of your firm, about your experience? Absolutely. Well, well I would started as a trust officer and started a, tr a traditional trust and estate practice doing wills and powers of attorneys. And then as time passed, people would come in and say, we have these documents in place, but now my, mo my mom, my dad, my spouse is not well. What do I do? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I did the documents, and they said, that's, that's great and wonderful, but I'm not sure what to do. So it, it led me, and I couldn't give them the answer, and it didn't feel right. I should be able to advise them with the full picture. So what happened is, is that eventually we, you know, I would consult with social workers who said, oh, this is, the, you know, this is what you need to do. Here's the right protocol. Here's the facility. And eventually... With the, in the firm, we added social workers, which the first attorney in America was the first person named Tim Tekas out of Nashville, and 92 was the first elder law attorney to have a social worker. Set a trend, and many people followed. And now, at this point, we're with three social workers and a nurse. So that in addition to the estate and capacity planning, we also do chronic care advocacy so that if someone has a chronic condition, they get a diagnosis, they get a stroke, they have a break, that not only can we make sure the documents are in place so we have decision-making authority, but we can make sure that they get good care and that they preserve their assets in the process because one without the other is a half victory. So it's the point is to get the good care and preserve assets, which is a part and parcel of securing that good care. Uh, and I would assume with some of the baby boomers that this practice is probably growing significantly. It's not only growing, it's exploding. Okay. And the, the, for, the, for the, uh, the, what used to be known as the sandwich generation, mm -hmm. they're now called the panini generation. Because not only do they have work and children, but they have aging parents, and so they're under pressure from both sides. Mm -hmm. And with the Amer aging American population, it, 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 it's just growing by leaps and bounds. And because in, 19, in the 50s, we drank, we smoked, uh, we ate uh, eggs and bacon for breakfast, and we had heart attacks That's at true. 50. Uh -huh. Problem solved itself. Now we're living longer, but we're living with chronic conditions, which change, once that chronic conditions occur, it changes planning. So uh, we have all the work we can do. Sure. You know, I have a question for you uh, in reference to planning. Now you said uh, you are involved in the estate uh, planning is, 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 does that encompass retirement planning where you use specific products uh, for, in addition to the different types of documents that are needed for living well, trusts? Well, absolutely. With estate mm -hmm. planning, there's a number, I mean, w with estate planning, you're planning for, for at my, at when Bill passes, mm -hmm. what happens? Mm -hmm. And some common products are, for young, young families, it's a must, life insurance. Mm -hmm. Because if you're gone, how are you going to pay to educate your children? Income, yeah. uh, the life insurance, or, your, or how, your, how is your wife or your husband going to carry, you know, to replace your income? Mm -hmm. And so, or we could say, you know, in, in, while they're doing the planning, disability income. If you mm -hmm. get disabled, I mean, you may not be dying, but again, these are issues that a good advisor can help you with and say, here are the things to think of. But, but, insurance, long-term care insurance, or uh, 
looking at paying for the cost of care, paying mm -hmm. for funeral services, all of these things that are, are things that could be considered now while you're competent mm -hmm. so you can, you can make informed decisions.